Hi, my name is Bokhal Darakhmedov. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss a typical problem in an exam of calculus where we need to find the equation of a tangent line to the curve at some point. So essentially, if you would like to figure out the equation of this kind of tangent line, you need to do the you need to do this in the two steps. In step number one, you need to find the the slope of this line, which is going to be simply the derivative of this curve at this point. And in the second step, you need to find a b by just substituting the coordinates of this point to this equation and by just substituting the k which you found from the first step to, to this to this equation. So the b is going to be equal to the y0 minus kx0. So essentially y0 is going to be f of x0 minus kx0. So by just finding the k and b, we can find the equation of the tangent line. So let's do this for this example. We are given the curve e in the part of x divided to the 1 plus x in the square. We need to figure out the equation of the tangent line at this point with the coordinates 1 and e over 2. So we first of all need to take the derivative of this curve. So let's say this curve is given as e in the part of x divided to the 1 plus x in the square. So if you would like to figure out the derivative of this curve, we need to use so-called quotient rule. So we are going to denote this function on the denominator on the numerator as the f and the function on the denominator is going to be denoted as the g and the derivative of this function is going to be simply equal to the f prime g minus f g prime divided to the g in the square so let's put all of the ingredients to here so the derivative of the f is going to be simply e in a power of x times the g which is going to be one plus x in the square so minus e in the part of x times the derivative of the g of x, which is going to be 0, so the derivative of the 1 is 0, plus x in the square. The derivative of the x in the square is going to be simply 2x. So this is all divided to the square of the g, which is going to be 1 plus x in the square, in the square. And then we're going to take out the e in the part of x out of the brackets, and what we have is x in the square minus 2x plus 1, divided to the 1 plus x in the square in the square. And please note that the x in the square minus tx plus 1 can be written as the x minus 1 in the square. So this is all divided to the 1 plus x in the square in the square. So what we need to do is we need to, we found the derivative, right? So the, we need to perform these two steps. So in the first step, we need to figure out the value of the k. So the value of the k is going to be the derivative of this function, of this curve, right? So the derivative of this curve, uh, e to the power of x divided to the 1 plus x in the square at the point x0. So this point is simply equal to the x is equal to the 1. So if you remember, we are given this point, right? So this point is going to be denoted as x0 and f of x0 or y0. So if you substitute the 1 to the derivative, so the derivative is equal to this function, so e in the part of x times x minus 1 in the square divided to the 1 plus x in the square in the square. It's obvious that if you substitute x to be equal to the 1, numerator becomes simply 0, and the denominator becomes uh, 2 in the square, which is 4, right? So it's going to be e in the part of 1 times 1 minus 1 in the square divided to the 1 plus 1 in the square, so it's going to be equal to the zero. So the slope of this line is equal to the zero. So in the second step, we need to find a b. So we know that this point with the coordinates 1 and e over 2 is lying on this line, y is equal to, so kx is kx plus b. So in our case, it's going to be simply 0 times the x plus b, or y is going to be equal to the b. So which basically means that the, y is, so the b is going to be equal to the e over t, right? So the equation, so the b is going to be equal to the e over t. So the k is equal to the zero, b is equal to the e over t, so that's why the equation of the tangent line is going to be equal to e over t. So that's going to be the equation of the tangent line. So what we know, now what we need to do is we need to try to sketch all of these curves. I'm going to use so-called GeoGebra application in order to sketch the curves. So we need to first of all sketch the curve itself. So it's going to be e in the power of x divided to 1 plus x in the square. So that's our curve. 
And we need to now sketch the equation of a tangent line, so which is going to be y is equal to e over t, right? So that's the tangent line at this point was the coordinates 1 and e over t. So this is how we are going to find the equation of a tangent line uh, using the quotient rule, for example. And I hope that this video is helpful for you.